to thee we cry, command us to believe. To thee do we send our sighs, the morning and weeping in the valley of tears. Turn them on the face of Saturday, the night of Christmas, to our daughter. And after this, our desire is shown to us the blessed fruit of thy great Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promise of the Christ. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 One of the more popular items on EWTNRC.com this month is the American-born Heroes of the Church Rosary, designed with Ghirelli exclusively for EWTN. This patriotic rosary has a Holy Trinity crucifix, a centerpiece of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, and Our Father medals featuring saintly American-born witnesses to the faith. To order, go to EWTNRC.com and search for item number 41403. EWTN. Live Truth. Live Catholic. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, Pray for us, Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us, Mother Most Pure. Pray for us, Mother Most Chaste. Pray for us, Mother Inviolate. Pray for us, Mother Undefiled. Pray for us, Mother Most Amiable. Pray for us, Mother Most Admirable. Pray for us, Mother of Good Counsel. Pray for us, Mother of our Creator. Pray for us, Mother of our Savior. Pray for us, Virgin Most Prudent. Pray for us, Virgin Most Venerable. Pray for us, Virgin Most Renowned. Pray for us, Virgin Most Powerful. Pray for us, Virgin Most Merciful. Pray for us, Virgin Most Faithful. Pray for us, Mirror of Justice. Pray for us, Seat of Wisdom. Pray for us, Cause of our Joy. Pray for us, Spiritual Vessel. Pray for us, Vessel of Honor. Pray for us, Singular Vessel of Devotion. Pray for us, Mystical Rose. Pray for us, Tower of David. Pray for us, Tower of Ivory. Pray for us, House of Gold. Pray for us, Ark of the Covenant. Pray for us, Gate of Heaven. Pray for us, Morning Star. Pray for us, Health of the Sick. Pray for us, Refuge of Sinners. Pray for us, Comforter of the Afflicted. Pray for us, Help of Christians. Pray for us, Queen of Angels. Pray for us, Queen of Patriarchs. Pray for us, Queen of Prophets. Pray for us, 
Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Families, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord our God, that we thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre, Hello, family. Mother Angelica knew the importance of preparing our hearts at Advent for the joy of Christmas. At EWTN, we continue Mother's mission of guiding hearts to Jesus Christ with seasonal programming that illuminates the true meaning behind this special time of year. With the support of you, our EWTN family, we can reach more souls with the truth of the eternal word. With every donation, you're helping someone who is lonely or depressed to hear the word of God. You're helping someone who's homebound to feel connected to the church. You're helping a fallen away Catholic to discover, maybe for the first time, the true teachings of the faith. You're bringing Jesus to the world with each gift. And today, I hope that you will help us continue to tell the world about the infant in the manger, the eternal word, Jesus Christ. With your support, hearts will change. Children will be formed in the faith souls in need of mercy will turn to the Lord. Thank you for your prayers and your donations. May you have a blessed Advent. EWTN is 100% viewer supported. Please make a gift today by going to EWTN.com slash Advent Hope. You may also call us at 1-800-447-EWTN or send your donation to EWTN, 5817 Old Leeds Road, Irondale, Alabama, 35210. For more than 150 years, Catholics in the USA have placed their lives, hopes, dreams, and concerns under the special patronage of Mary, the Mother of God. Now, more than ever, we need to join together to turn to her in prayer through the Holy Rosary, to ask for healing in our church. To aid this effort, we are pleased to be offering a unique rosary from Gorelli, featuring a special crucifix with red and blue enamel stars and stripes on the front and one nation under God on the back. On the center is an image of Our Lady over a map of the United States with Psalm 3312 on the back. Every Hail Mary bead has each state's individual abbreviation on it. 
This collector rosary is available now at EWTNRC.com for just $36. To order, go to EWTNRC.com and search for item number 19183. The Blessed is the Nation Rosary for America. Order yours today. Hello, Journey Home family. Next time, we'll welcome Jennifer Fitz, a revert to the Catholic Church, to share what led her to come home to the sacraments. Share the journey next time on EWTN's The Journey Home. EWTN. Live Truth. Live Catholic. Family, a prayer that we pray together is a powerful prayer. So please pray together with me our EWTN family prayer. Today we pray for our siblings. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we love you. You have revealed your inner life as a communion of persons. And so we pray today in thanksgiving for our brothers and sisters with whom we have shared our lives. Grant us reconciliation with those who are estranged from us and help those who have fallen on hard times to rise up once again. Bless, O Lord, all of my brothers and sisters and reunite us one day in heaven. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. Do this in memory of me. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, 
all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty God, you glorified Saint Nicholas and companions by their zeal in spreading the faith and their crown of martyrdom. Through their prayers and example, help us to run the way of your commandments and to receive the crown of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who gives witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud, and blessed are those who listen to this prophetic message and heed what is written in it, for the appointed time is near. John, to the seven churches in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne. I heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, write this, the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands says this, I know your works, your labor, and your endurance, and that you cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles, but are not, and discovered that they are impostors. Moreover, you have endurance, and have suffered for my name, and you have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. Verbum Domini. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Let us pray. 
Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Dominus Fobiscum, Lexio Sancti Evangelii Secundum Lucam, As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight. Your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. Verbum Domini Today we heard from Psalm One, those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. What is the tree of life? This vestment, you may notice there's roots at the bottom of this cross, and it's bearing flowers and blossoms. It's giving forth life. And so the cross here is depicted as a tree. In fact, it is the tree of life. That in the book of Genesis, we heard about the tree of life in paradise. But that was a prefigurement of the tree of life, the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, from which all life flows to us. And we're beginning now throughout the end of this liturgical year to read through the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation, but what is the complete title? We heard it today. The Revelation of Jesus Christ. That's the complete title. In fact, the Bible is completely and so far as the written word has been given to us, 
is the revelation of Jesus Christ. And so in the Old Testament, we have the prefigurements like the tree of life in the garden of paradise. We have the prophecies, which would then be fulfilled in the New Testament with the events of our Lord, of the early church that we read about. But in the book of Revelation, there's something unique from all of that, and that it is the risen Lord who is speaking to us. We heard in the gospel today of our Lord walking on this earth, healing this blind man. But the book of Revelation of Jesus Christ is the end of the Bible. So the beginning of the Bible begins with a wedding, with a marriage, if you will, between our first parents, Adam and Eve. And it concludes with a wedding. But now it is the wedding of the lamb who was slain, who died on the cross so that now we might have life through this life-giving event. And it concludes with the marriage, the marriage supper of the lamb. And what takes place at the mass is a entering into that reality, which will be realized in its completion in eternal life. So the entirety of the sacred scriptures is the revelation of Jesus Christ, but it concludes then with this book, where it is the risen Lord who's addressing these early churches, the first of which is Ephesus, which was the mother church of that area. It was a metropolitan area. It was a crossroads, if you will, between Jerusalem and, and Rome. In the middle was Ephesus. And the Lord praises the fact that they have endured much and they continue to persevere. But he wants her love to be what it was at first. You see, we can follow the rules. We can do what we ought to do. But the Lord, most of all, wants a burning love in us. And so it concluded today, you have lost the love you had at first. How do we maintain that? How do we maintain that, that love and grow? Let it not only just be maintained, but actually intensify. And the way that we do that is by staying close to the fire, the source, the fire of love. And we do that by receiving communion often or making, as many of you do, spiritual communions. Padre Pio would say to place your heart in the tabernacle when you can't receive communion or you're far from the chapel. So receiving as often as we can the sacraments, the Holy Eucharist, meditating on his word, letting the Lord speak to us. So did you hear the Lord say to you today, what do you want me to do for you? What is it that you want him to do for you today? Lord, I want to see. But you see that this man not only had his physical re sight restored as it was, but something deeper and more lasting, his spiritual sight. It is your faith that has saved you, Jesus says to this man. And what does he do? Immediately upon receiving his sight, he follows him. He doesn't go off to go to other things or to even to tell others about what had happened to him. He follows him. He immediately gets up from where he was, and he follows him. And not only that, he gives glory to God. That's an example for us, to live by faith, following the Lord. And we heard in the Alleluia verse, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will have the light of life, not just physical sight, but the light of life to guide, guard, guide us to the fullness of life, to the eternal light in heaven. And so as we are coming to the end of the liturgical year, we think of the last things, death, 
judgment, heaven, or hell. And one of the things that we want to have to pray for is for a happy death, a holy death. That's the conclusion of our life. The book of Revelation is the conclusion of the Bible. It speaks of the concluding events of the world. But our life, too, will have its conclusion. And how would you like to die? What would you like it to be like? Sometimes when we encounter people in their passage from this life to the next, we say, I want to die like that. I have, as a priest, of course, accompanied many people who were dying, and even those in the moment of their death, like my own father, who died two years ago today or yesterday. And I looked through his little prayer book, and he had prayed, obviously, probably every day, because this little prayer was so worn. It was a prayer for a happy death. And he certainly had that. He had everything the church offers before he passed that transition from this life to the next. And November 13th will be a day I remember, of course, my father's passage. But it's also a day I remember somebody also very special to, to me and to our EWTN family, to Jennifer, Jennifer Rodriguez, who passed into eternal life yesterday. And so many of you were, have been asking about her. She's been struggling with cancer the last three years and fighting valiantly with great strength and faith and hope in God. And so yesterday, after she had died, I went to their home, and Robert told me what her last moments were like. And he gave me permission to share that with all of you, those of you who've grown to love her in the family. And so they were praying the Rosary and Divine Mercy Chaplet and Rosary and Divine Mercy Chaplet at the foot of her bed in their home. And Robert said that they, that they read her favorite passage from Faustina's diary, St. Faustina's diary, and that at the end of they just completed the chaplet, and I'll read that passage. They said, he said they would always read this passage before they prayed the chaplet. It was Jennifer's favorite from the diary. So these were the words of our Lord to St. Faustina. At the hour of their death, I defend as my own glory every soul that will say this chaplet, or when others say it for a dying person. The pardon is the same. When this chaplet is said by the bedside of a dying person, God's anger is placated, unfathomable mercy envelops the soul and the very depths of my tender mercy are moved for the sake of the sorrowful passion of my son. I told before the story of a man who was just, he ridiculed the Christian faith and I'd gone to his bedside with his wife dying at St. Vincent's Hospital. He was in a coma. We prayed this chaplet after I spoke to him and encouraged him uh, to turn away, to repent, to return to the Lord, be sorry for his sins, going through the commandments, pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And he died that night, and his wife related to me at the funeral that after I left, tears were streaming down his cheeks. When you say this chaplet, or when others say it for a dying person, the pardon is the same. Unfathomable mercy envelops their soul. So what a beautiful promise. Encourage people to pray the chaplet for those who are dying, especially those who maybe have been far away, but even those who lived a virtuous life. <laughs> But we want that divine mercy. And so Robert related to me how 
They had read this passage. They had prayed the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And then they repeated, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I love you. Save souls. They kept repeating that. And then Jennifer, who had been unresponsive for some time, they had the crucifix near her, and she grasped it tightly. And quietly she said, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, I love you. Save souls. And she exhaled her last. That's how I want to die, too. With the name of Jesus, Mary, Joseph, on my lips. To let my last breath be glorifying God, following Jesus. To have a holy death, to have a happy death. It's not how we begin, it's how we end. And so the Lord said, or rather in the, in the book of Revelation, unless other, I will come if you don't repent, I will come to you, remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent, the church would be taken away. But it's really a word for all of us, this need for us to turn to the Lord today. Today is the moment of salvation. Now is a day of salvation to turn to the Lord, to realize the reality of the fact that we are mortals, that there will be a conclusion to our lives, and that we will be judged in accordance with how we have lived. And so today is a day of salvation. Today is the day to not let that love of the Lord wane, to diminish, but to stay close to the fire to be enlightened by God's word, to receive him often as we can in the Holy Eucharist, to be men and women of rich and charity. And if we're doing all of those things, then when we come to the end of our days, it is going to be a gentle transition. It will be a happy death, a holy death. Is there such thing as a happy death? Yes. Yes. St. Faustina had a vision of hell, purgatory, and heaven. And she said of those who had gone through so many sufferings in this life, so many trials, that when they entered into glory, what she saw is that in an instant, they completely forgot all of the sufferings that had preceded in their time on earth. They instantly forgot it. St. Paul speaks of that, doesn't he? that what no eye has seen or ear has heard. That's what God's prepared for. It can't even enter our minds. Whatever we imagine heaven to be like falls far short of the reality. And when uh, Robert told me of Jennifer's uh, favorite passage, I continue to read on that same page. This is number 11 was the one that I read, 811 in her diary. And she said, O merciful Jesus stretched on the cross, be mindful of the hour of our death. O most merciful heart of Jesus, opened with a lance. Shelter me at the last moment of my life. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy, unfathomable mercy, for me at the hour of my death. O dying Jesus, hostage of mercy, avert the divine wrath at the hour of my death. This is the tree of life. This is our salvation. The blood of Jesus shed for our salvation that invigorates us, that gives us life, even in the dying process, that we have this divine life alive in us that carries us into the eternal bosom of God forever. And then finally, the, the next two paragraphs, St. Faustina said, and she wrote this later, today I only received Holy Communion and stayed for a few moments of the Mass 
All my strength is in you, O living bread. It would be difficult for me to live through the day if I did not receive Holy Communion, make a spiritual communion if you can't. It is my shield. Without you, Jesus, I know not how to live. Jesus, my love, today gave me to understand how much he loves me. And although there is such an enormous gap between us, the creator and the creature, and yet, in a way, there is something like equality. Love fills up the gap. He himself descends to me and makes me capable of communing with him. That's a great gift, the greatest gift. So let us follow the example of those who've died happy, holy deaths. May the Lord give us the grace to grow in that fervor, not lose our first love, but rather that it would intensify by staying close to the fire of his divine love. And so inherit with the holy ones eternal life. Let us offer our petitions to our Heavenly Father who encircles us, enriches us each day with gifts of his love. That the Holy Father and all bishops and priests may be loving and vigilant shepherds of souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, That government leaders may recognize Christ as Lord, Master, and Redeemer and lead their people to the peace that Jesus promised to those who put their trust in him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For EWTN and for all missionary efforts that help spread the truth of our faith, that many souls may be saved through these apostolates. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For the blessed repose of all who have died, that they may be ushered into the light of God's presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a particular way for the blessed repose of the soul of Jennifer Rodriguez and consolation to her family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, since by the adoption of grace you have made us children of light, Do not let false doctrine darken our minds, but grant that your light may shine within us and we may always live in the brightness of truth through Christ our Lord.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Merciful Father, send your blessings on these gifts and strengthen us in that faith which your martyr Saint Nicholas and companions defended defended even to the shedding of their blood. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Mysterium Fidei. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Nicholas and companions, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Jennifer, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Precepti salutaribus monici et divina institutione formati audemus dicere. Pater Moster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, arvevia premium tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicur in cerno. Quesumus Domine ab omnibus malis, da propitius pacem in diebus nostris, ut ope misericordiae tui adiuti, et a peccato simus semper libari, et ab omni perturbatione securi, expectantes beatum spam, et adventum salvatoris nostri, Iesu Christi. We 
Jesu Christe, quid existi apostolis tuis, pacem rene quo vobis, pacem meum do vobis. Nedes pici aspecata nostra sed fidem ecclesiae tuae, eamque secundum voluntatem tuam pace vicari eco adonare dignaris, qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum. Sit semper vobiscum. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be Whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel, says the Lord, will save it. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the blessed sacrament, we offer the following prayer. O Jesus, thou hast given us in the Holy Eucharist thy body and blood to be our spiritual nourishment, through which we may have life everlasting. Would that I were able to receive thee this day in Holy Communion. I desire with all my heart to receive the living bread which comes down from heaven. O Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter under my roof. Say but the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let me taste at least the sweetness of a spiritual communion. Come to me, Jesus, my Lord, my Master. Come and refresh my soul. Strengthen me, that in union with thee I may do perfectly the heavenly Father's will. Let me never be separated from thee by sin. Soul of Jesus, sanctify me. Body of Jesus, save me. Blood of Jesus, wash me. Water out of the side of Jesus, purify me. Passion of Jesus, comfort me. O good Jesus, hear me. Hide me within thy sacred wounds. O sacred heart of Jesus, receive me. O immaculate heart of Mary, plead for me and love me. Amen. Despise the 
Let us pray. Lord, we are renewed by the breaking of one bread in honor of the martyrs Nicholas and companions. Keep us in your love and help us to live the new life Christ won for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Prayer for vocations. God our Father, who wills that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of your truth, we beg you to send laborers into your harvest and grant them grace to speak your word with all boldness, so that your word may spread and be glorified, and all nations may know you, the only God, 
and him whom you have sent, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of the Americas, Mary, Mother of the Franciscan Missionaries of the Eternal Word, pray for us. Our Lord came down from heaven, forsaking his eternal throne, and assumed from you his heart, body, and blood, hiding nine months in your pure heart. O Mother, Virgin, this will no one comprehend, that the infinite God is becoming a man through you, Mother. It's given us to live with him forever. O Mary, Virgin Mother, and Heaven's Gate, through you, salvation came to us. Every grace to us streams forth through your hands. O Mother Virgin, most beautiful Lily, your heart was for Jesus, the first tabernacle on earth. O Mary, my sweet mother, to you I turn over my soul, my body, and my poor heart. Be the safeguard of my life, especially at death's hour. EWTN. Live Truth. Live Catholic. EWTN invites you to join us in this rosary as we pray for peace in Ukraine. During the month of November, we especially remember the church suffering, the holy souls in purgatory. The catechism states, from the beginning, the church has honored the memory of the dead and offered prayers and suffrage for them, so that thus purified, they may attain the beatific vision of God. And also, our prayer for them is capable not only of helping them, but also of making their intercession for us effective. And so today we pray for the blessed repose of the souls of the faithful departed, in a particular way for Jennifer Rodriguez. And we ask their intercession for us and for the needs of our times. The Holy Rosary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the joyful mysteries. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. For persecuted Christians and the conversion of their persecutors, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
and as we forgive those who trespass against us, and we are assigned to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we pray that both in life and in death we may glorify the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. In this decade, we pray for the souls of our departed relatives, friends, and benefactors. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace.
The second joyful mystery, the visitation. In this decade, let us pray for the deceased priests and religious who helped us in life. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins. sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let the perpetual light shine upon May they rest in peace. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Jesus. In this decade, let us pray for our teachers and coaches who have died. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, the Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, the Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins. sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let the perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation in the temple. In this decade, let us pray for our deceased employers and co-workers. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our Jesus. sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Eternal, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. The fifth joyful mystery the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. In this decade, let us pray for our enemies and for anyone we have offended who has died. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, and eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. For our Holy Father's intentions, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. We now pray the De Profundis, Psalm 130, which the Church uses as her official prayer for the souls in purgatory. It is a prayer in which the just, afflicted by their sins, implore the divine mercy. Together. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than watchmen for daybreak. Let the watchmen count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all his iniquity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And finally, the prayer of Saint Gertrude, together. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my family, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
EWTN. Live Truth. Live Catholic.